the Rome had all the all the religions. You want the religion? Okay, we can accommodate that in the Roman Empire. There's no religion we're not willing to accommodate. But don't forget, Caesar is king. Every day you have to bow down. Every day you have to light incense in an altar. Once a year, all of us together should say, Caesar is king. The thing with Christianity is this. We reject that. There's only one king. There's only one Lord and it is Christ. And what does that mean? Your Lord, your king, is a fake. That's, that's their problem. They choose not to toe the line. Poly, Politihome has that overture that the Roman citizens were proud of their heritage being Roman citizens. And they were expected to act and behave according to their citizenship. They had to toe the line. They had to behave cert in a certain way. They had to act in a certain manner. They had to think in a certain manner. And Paul here is telling them that you too, you Christians in Philippi, you should act appropriate to. And we remember, we know that the context that this letter was written was why? There was fighting. There was fighting within the church. Two female alpha males were butting heads. They couldn't come to terms. They were acting off sync. And because of that, the gospel is not progressing. And here Paul is telling us, Politihome, act according to your citizenship. Act according to who you are. That you are the son of of God. Remember Matthew? If somebody slaps you in the, in the right cheek, what should you do? Give your left. If somebody steals from you, give them food. If somebody asks your coat, give them also your shirt. If uh, somebody tells you to walk one mile, take the extra mile. And people will wonder, why do you choose to act that way? That's so stupid. And you will reply, because of who my father is. I am his son. Because my father is God. That's why I behave this way. Act according to who you are. And Politihome is Telling the Roman citizens, act according to Roman standards, to Roman expectation. And Paul was using that specific term to tell the church in Philippi, guys, act, behave according to your citizenship. And in Philippians chapter 3, he says, your citizenship is not here on earth. Your citizenship is in heaven. I think Philippians 3.20. And your Lord is not Caesar, but your Lord is Christ. Act in that manner. Our citizenship in Philippians chapter 3.20 is in heaven. Only conduct yourself in a manner worthy of 
the gospel. The word worthy comes from the word scale. A weighing scale. I, you know, that's my best friend now. <laughs> when I, I have a scale in my house, especially now I'm trying to do this way, I, I step on it. When I don't like the results, I go down on my knees and I adjust. Something's wrong with the scale. <laughs> Adjust. And I would, it's a classic that has a zero and so on. I gain weight, I'm not eating. I step again, I step out. No, adjust again. I would do that four to five times until I'm convinced that the scale is telling the truth. <laughs> Unless I'm convinced that the scale is not telling the truth, I will adjust the scale. <laughs> That's why I'm losing weight. <laughs> but the scale then was different. It has this thing, right? It's like a scale wherein you put, <coughs> let's say I want to buy one kilo of cheese. You put one kilo of cheese here, right? Oh, no. You put first one kilo of weight, uh, a standard of one kilo. On the other side, you put your cheese. Once it's leveled off, that's one kilo. When the Bible uses the word worthy, it means worth its weight. So the Bible is telling us to act in a manner that when it is weighed against the gospel, then it's worth the weight. Now, when we say the gospel, what do we mean? We mean the gospel is all about Christ. It's all about the self-sacrifice attitude of Christ. It's all about self-humbling. The behavior of Christ. The thinking of Christ. Everything about Christ. What is the gospel? At the end of the day, the gospel is about Christ. And what Paul is telling us, if you take the attributes and the character of Christ, and you put it on one side, and you take your attitude, how you behave, how you act, and you put it on the other side, is it balanced? Is it Worthy? The question is, how are we conducting ourselves towards others? You know, we don't see Christ always fighting. We don't see Christ being jealous towards others. We don't see Christ bad-mouthing people or having an unforgiving heart or having resentment. When, when we, we have to know Christ and, and what Paul is saying, your, your life should be balanced on the character of Christ. You are, con you are to conduct yourselves in a manner that when people see Christ and see your life, it's balanced. It's similar. It's the same. <clears throat> is it? Is the question. And he's talking to the church that there were in there is a lot of infighting. Is our life in balance with the character? Of Christ are we living in a manner worthy of who Christ is <clears throat> are we living in a manner equal to our citizenship in heaven when people see your life will they be able to conclude Yes, Santino is a citizen of heaven. 
Why? Can they conclude that when they observe the way you talk, the way you act, the way you react, the way you behave, the decisions you make? That's living in a manner worthy of who Christ is, the gospel. And we continue. Le I will hear of you that you are. What Paul is saying there is, guys, oh, sorry. So that whether I come to you, so whether I come and see you or remain absent. <clears throat> you know, there is a possibility that the church in Philippi was kind of bothered. They kind of bother that no one's, no elder was is with them. Paul is not with them. They were requesting Timothy. It's not Timothy is not with them also. And Paul was troubled and concerned that there might be trouble because Paul was not there. Timothy is not there. Epaphroditus is not there. And he's telling them. My absence in your presence, the absence of Timothy, the absence of Epaphroditus, should not, cannot justify <laughs> your relaxing of your Christian obligation. If I leave the house, for, uh, for, or if me and Romy lives, lives for a short trip, maybe the first hour, in the house while we are gone. Bambino, Bidina, and Santina is in peace. No fighting. So happy. Right? And everything is good. If I a long trip, eh, within the day, I remember, I always tell this my wife, I leave the house. The question I ask is how many minutes before one would call? Yes, that's the truth, kids. And true enough, uh, what? 25, right? 25, 30 minutes, I would get a call. Oh, it's Bettina. <laughs> There's trouble in the house. <laughs> and, and, and exactly this is what happened in church in Philippi. He says, whether I come to see you or remain absent, I expect you guys to still live in a manner worthy. There is no excuse. It's so easy for us to to slip away and 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 just be negligent because what? Nobody's watching. Nobody's here. My dad's not here. My mom's not here. Right? Guy, sometimes my kids will ask me. So that are you leaving by anytime soon or what? <laughs> I, I don't like that kind of question. Or what's it going on? Why are you excited for me to leave? <laughs> there. <laughs> right? And 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 they say, Oh dad will miss you, but oh, you will miss me. <laughs> then they'll plan and then that can be done. Uh, right? And, and and the point that Paul is saying is, you know. Even I'm not there or I'm there. You should act consistent. Why? Because we serve for the pleasure of one. The God that sees all things. The God that knows our our thoughts, our, our motives. Yes, I might not be there. Ma might not be there. But the most important person is there. And he sees all things. And that we are, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're not accountable to our parents at the end of the day. We're accountable to him who sees, who sits on the throne. Right? And he's saying that when I hear of you, and, and, and Paul is saying that, you know, while I'm going, while I'm not there, I do hope to hear. Because I know I will hear, I know I will get news, and I hope it is good, good news. <clears throat> he says that I will hear of you that you are 